The Night Journey One calm night in Mecca, one year before the migration to Medina, the roof of the Prophet Muhammad's house was opened while he was sleeping, and the noble angel Gabriel came towards him. He opened his chest, removed his heart, and washed it with Zamzam water. He then brought a vessel made of gold containing wisdom and faith. He emptied the vessel into the noble chest of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and then closed it up. Gabriel woke the Prophet, peace be upon him, and took him by his hand to the gate of the sacred Kaaba. There the Prophet, peace be upon him, saw a white creature, smaller than a mule, larger than a donkey, with wings on each side of its hind legs. The Prophet, peace be upon him, mounted the creature, and they took off north to Beit al maqdis in Jerusalem. This part of the journey is referred to as Al-Isra. After dismounting the creature, the Prophet, peace be upon him, entered Al-Aqsa Mosque and prayed two units. He then saw the Prophets Moses, Jesus and Abraham, peace be upon them all, and was instructed to lead them in prayer. Next, Muhammad, peace be upon him, mounted the creature again and set off, shooting out of the solar system into the heavens. This ascension is known as al Miraj. Gabriel led the Prophet, peace be upon him, to the Lot Tree. At this point of the Prophet's journey, Allah spoke to him directly and revealed to him the last verses of Al-Baqarah. It is during this miraculous journey that Allah made the daily prayers compulsory. Initially, 50 daily prayers for the Prophet, peace be upon him, and his followers. After the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, received these instructions from Allah, he came down until he passed by Moses, who asked about the acts of worship Allah had prescribed for him. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, informed him about the fifty prayers, Moses said, Your people will not be able to perform fifty prayers each day. I tried the people before you. I had to deal with the children of Israel, and it was very difficult for me. Go back to your Lord and ask him to reduce the burden on your people. The Prophet, peace be upon him, did so, and Allah reduced it by ten. But when he came by Moses again, he suggested that he return and request a further reduction for the same reason, so he returned. Muhammad, peace be upon him, continued to go back and forth between his Lord and Moses until Allah said, There will be five prayers every day, each being rewarded as ten, thus making it equivalent to 50 daily prayers. The Prophet, peace be upon him, passed by Moses once more and informed him of the five daily prayers. Moses repeated that he should go back again. However, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I have asked my Lord till I am too shy to face him. I accept this and submit to him. On this journey, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was taken to paradise, where he saw dwellings made of pearls and their soils made of musk. He was also taken to hell, where Allah revealed to him scenes from the future. He saw people receiving terrible punishments for different sins. The Prophet, peace be upon him, then returned home to find his bed still warm. ما كذب الفؤاد ما راى افتمارونه على ما يرى 
ولقد رآه نزلة أخرى عند سدرة المنتهى عندها جنة المأوى إذ يغشى السدرة ما يغشى ما زاغ البصر وما طغى لقد رأى من آيات ربه الكبرى Till this day, over 1400 years later, over 1.6 billion people all around the world perform these five daily prayers as revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, by his Lord. Since that revelation, and with the spread of Islam, this prayer is performed in many countries outside of Arabia, with approximately 400 million in Africa, 10 million in the Americas, over 60 million in China, half a million in Australia, 700 million in Southeast Asia, 60 million in Europe, and wherever else Muslims may be, they respond to this call to prayer. In this film, through authentically recorded sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his companions, we will describe the manner in which the Prophet, peace be upon him, prayed as he instructed us to, when he said, Pray as you have seen me pray. <laughs> 